what's up guys no with attitude here today I'd like to talk a little bit about David Mead most of you know who David Mead is um, how can you not when his name was plastered all over news sites both tabloid and mainstream all saying that he predicted the world would end on September 23rd. It was so bad that a man whose real name is David Mead from the UK, he's a mentalist, uh, he received tons of angry tweets and emails, hate mail. Um, David has since responded saying that he didn't say the world would end on September 23rd, that it was a mis misinterpretation from the media, and that they sensationalized the information, and if people bought his book, they would know that. Well, I didn't have to read the book to know that he didn't say the world would end on September 23rd. That is true. He did not say that. He said it was a sign. He is a guest writer for... The website Plan X News and his book is basically articles from 2016 that he wrote on that website. If you go to planetxnews.com, go to David Mead and go all the way through all of his articles and start at the first one and you'll find his book. Just start from there and read up and you'll find his book. Well, he didn't say that the world would end on September 23rd. I give him that. But what he did say, he said that Nibiru would eclipse the sun on October 5th. It did not happen. He said the shadow would cover the whole earth. This did not happen. And I'm pretty sure that's one of the reasons why WSO has, has gone on this redeem David Mead type of thing with that hoax over there with that fake eclipse because they're trying to pretend that Nibiru has eclipsed the sun. It has not. Now, David also says that during the last week of October, Russia, China, and North Korea will engage in a surprise dawn attack against the U.S. This will start World War III and the Great Tribulation. It will be a nuclear exchange. When this happens, the rapture will occur. Trump and Pence will be raptured because, you know, they're wonderful people. And there will be a special election and Obama will be elected. Because, you know, while we're dying from nuclear war, we have time to vote for Obama. Yeah, that sounds plausible, David. I'm sorry. Anyway. Now, since that didn't happen, since the Nibiru did not eclipse the sun, David, he has a perfect excuse. He got a letter. Yes, there is an article on the website. It's called David Mead's September 23rd Vindication. And, he, you know, he, he says he got a letter from someone saying that his dates were a month off that his dates for the Feast of Trump is that he miscalculated and his dates apply for next month. So he's doing the normal push it back. Let's just push it back a month. No, 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 not this time, not this time. Within the next few days, um, hopefully, I, hopefully by the 18th, uh, Dazza, the cameraman, and I will be doing a live hangout, and we will be um, revealing the information that we have found during our research of David Mead. This man has been predicting the rapture and the end of the world since the year 2000. I have... Um, the year 2000, 2005, 2008, 2011, 2014, 2015, and 2017. That this man has said that the world was going to end. That the rapture was happening. It started during uh, the early 2000s when there is a man. His name is Cam Peters. If you research him, you will find him. He said he, he had a dream about 
the end of the world, basically, the rapture and tribulation. And this is what David Mead is getting his information from, from Ken and other people who have had dreams or visions of the world ending. David was sent an email to talk to him, Christian to Christian, not from me, from someone else, to talk to him and um, sent him pictures, screenshots of the people from the groups, uh, teenagers, suicidal people who are afraid because of what he's saying. And David said, basically, really, give me a break, read this. Your letter indicates that you have not read my book. You have read sensationalist headlines and actually believe them? The media is quite crazy. My book is great news. Read on. Well, David's book isn't great news whatsoever. It's full of death and destruction and visions and dreams. Then he says, after the seven years, we're going to have a thousand years of, of, of wonderful times. Who's going to be here? Who? Who, David? Who the fuck is going to be here? I never will ever be able to understand this because it is extremely annoying for these people who claim to be religious and Christian. And the only thing that they think that they have to do is to ask for forgiveness. They can steal from you. They can kill. They can rape. They can beat. They can do whatever the fuck they want as long as they ask for forgiveness. They do not believe that you go to heaven or whatever for good works, for being a good person. As long as you say, I'm sorry and repent, you're going to heaven. That's how they feel about this. So they don't care about what they're doing to people. And let me, let me just say this. If the world is going to end and the person who's telling you the world is going to end needs money, don't believe them because what are they going to do with it? If the world, if, if, if war is coming the last week of this month, what, you, what, what is he going to do with the money? There's not going to be any banks. He said everybody's going to get RFID chips. What is he going to do with the money? If you think the world is ending, then you know there's nothing to do with the money. You know me, if I knew that the world would ending, I would tell people to take their money and go prepare, buy supplies to be prepared, not buy my book so I can tell you some more bullshit that you can go over here and read on my, my, this website over here for free, freaking stupid prepper shit, all this stuff that's in his other books and dreams and all this kind of shit. It doesn't make any sense. It makes absolutely no sense. David is trying to pretend that he has been uh, the victim here when if you go to his stuff you find the same stuff that they were saying. The only thing that people said was that the world was going to end on September 23rd. Everything else about David Mead is true. He's trying to play victim here. You said Nibiru would eclipse the sun on October 5th. If you guys think about it, every freaking year from September to December, we're looking for the end of the world and Nibiru every year. For almost 20 years, people are looking for Nibiru. And it's never there. End of the world every year, September to December. You got to stop believing these people. This, they're never going to stop. They're never, they're never going to stop because I think they want to die. They've read the Bible. They think that as long as they repent, they're going to heaven. So they really don't care. Their lives are shitty and, and they don't care. He's already trying to push it off, guys. He's already trying to push it back another month and another month and another month. It's about time that this man is called out once and for all for his lies and his crap. And if he wants to write about this stuff again, he will not be able to use the name David Mead anymore. We'll make sure of that. So you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that
glad you love me. 